Hello and welcome to the fabulous Yas Marina circuit here in Abu Dhabi, the location for this year's Young Driver Test. Over the next two days, we'll go behind the scenes as we watch the teams put the next generation of potential Formula One drivers through a series of tests to uncover the next superstar. Ask any of the team principals whether outright speed is the sole requirement, and they'll tell you that consistency, feedback and attitude are equally important. Still a few record times wouldn't hurt a driver's chances of securing a seat for next season. And right on cue, the first engine of the day has fired into life right below my commentary box. So I think we'll soon see a car out on track. Hey, good to see you again. As your race engineer, it's my job to support you this weekend. When you're out on track, we'll remain in contact via radio. I'll feed you information as and when you need it. As discussed in the team briefing, we're not looking for outright speed to begin with, so just take your time. Follow my instructions and you'll do great. I'll just check the lads are ready. We'll attach comms when you're in the car. OK, let's get you strapped in. OK, let's run through the basic controls and ensure the guys have set the car correctly so that you're comfortable. First, let's check that the accelerator and brake pedals are a good fit. Great, let's check the steering lock next. Move the wheel from left to right for me. Next up are the gears. The box is either manual or automatic, but you can override the auto at any time by using the gear up and down controls. Pull the right paddle to go up a gear and the left paddle to come down. Okay, everything looks good. We're going to do a simple straight line aero run first. Let me know when you're ready to head out. All complete, we're ready. The first test is a simple straight line aero test. Head down the track, accelerating past 160 miles per hour, then brake so that you come to a complete stop in the designated area. The engine is locked to lean, so it's down a little on power at the moment, but it'll give us a consistent reading. Modern Formula One cars have around 750 brake horsepower being sent to the rear wheels. The delivery can be very violent, so you must be careful to be smooth and precise with all your inputs so that you don't unsettle the car and cause a spin. At speed, the car's aerodynamics generate a lot of downforce, forcing the car to the track. To work efficiently with downforce, you should put a lot of force into the brake pedal initially, slowly reducing the pressure as they turn in for the corner as you'll have less grip at this stage and be asking the tyres to work harder. 
When navigating a corner, stay as wide as possible before sweeping in to clip the corner's apex, taking as straight a line as possible. This allows you to get on the accelerator earlier and straighten up the car on the exit of the corner, slowly increasing the pressure on the accelerator as you exit the corner until you're confident the rear wheels will no longer spin, at which point you can use full power. For this test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin corner, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex, and accelerate past 185 miles per hour out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. delivers an additional 80 brake horsepower to the rear wheels at the press of a button. It can be used in short bursts or all at once for around 7 seconds per lap. Kurs can be used at any time in any session and can be used for overtaking or defending. Deploying Kurs in the low gears gives the best return and can pay off greatly when used at the start. The Kurs charge will automatically refill every lap, but the Kurs system can at times develop faults However, these can be fixed while the driver is still out on track. DRS adjusts the angle of the rear wing, which reduces drag and gives around 10 to 12 km per hour extra top speed. It can only be used in defined activation points during the race when you're within one second of the car in front. It can be used whenever the driver wants in practice or qualifying, but only when dry tyres are fitted. And that's the end of day one of the Young Drivers Test here at Abu Dhabi. Join us tomorrow for day two.